Set and now getting underway with Heat One featuring John John Florence and Griffin Cola Pinto. John John with an opportunity with a victory to take the yellow jersey over to event number six, but he's going to have his hands full. Griffin Cola Pinto looked fantastic in the early rounds of the contest. We were robbed of the opportunity to see these two battle in the quarters last year. And during the break, it was Griffin Cola Pinto getting things started, Rich. Yeah, Griff just with a big opening turn there uh, on a frothy monster. You can see the swell size still hanging in there. A little sleepy through this middle section as Griff tries to attack this final section here. And an ankle tapped. And John starts things off with just a quick in and out. Live action. Here goes Florence. One of those beautiful big layback calves to get started. Big open face to deal with here. Again, winds through a, a big rail turn. Now setting up the inside. Hammers the section. And that's the start he was looking for. 25 and a half minutes to go. Trying to put some pressure on Griffin Colapinto and get one back on Griff. We watched the replay, a great looking way from the takeoff, and there it is, just the big carving arc. He put a little bit more of a direction change on that one. Getting right back up into the pocket. The second one was beautiful to watch, and then this third one just grinds it out. See how he just stopped on the tail there, just to make sure he, uh, he didn't nosedive. And now a deeper look at it. Gets right up high in there, both arms. Almost the double layback hack on that one, but just so compressed as he turns right up high in the pocket. And uh, the second carve as well, just powering through it. Great extension with the body. And gets to the finish here, Ron. Watch this. Gets nice and high up in the lip. Now compresses, gets all the weight on the back foot as the wave pockets out under him. He doesn't like to really engage with the media too much. Um, he's just all about his surfing. Here we go, live action with Griff. Yeah, he's reticent, isn't he? Uh, Griff and Cola Pinto, on the other hand, shows you everything. A, a real live wire, just super happy-go-lucky, very approachable and, you know, excited. Maybe it's coming right now. Florence up again, wave number three, first section. Hangs on the rail. Nice carp to get started. This one's starting to flatten out a little bit. But he'll line up the end section and give it everything he's got. Kicks on that tail. Not as... Good backup wave. As we watch the replay of John Florence here. Uh, this first section, a nice extended carve. Uh, and you, as you said, Ronnie, gets a little bit sleepier. Slightly slower. More uh, control car for the second and the third gets the hit. And what I meant by that is, uh, you know, Griff, you can end up waiting for something that won't come. And you've got to stay with the heat and you've got to stay with the rhythms of the sets. If you just start going, oh, I'm going to wait for the biggest wave of the whole day, uh, it might not come. And, uh, well, if John only gets about a seven here, then then Griff, you know, he could still get that score with 285. So, um, you know, he's obviously looking for a particular type of wave. As we look at the uh, ultra slow-mo here of, of John. Just uh, this ghost model, Pizel. Board, he's just found something really special in this particular model here. We know it's got that really pulled in narrow tail that just allows John to knife into these little sections here. A little bit of fin release on that one. His toes and heels almost hanging over the back half of the edges. The tail of his board there, a lot of forward foam up front. Ops over it. John wants to look at it, though. Yeah, John can afford to take a, a chance on some of these insiders. Had a really good look at that one. Saw all that foam on the face and, and opted out. And we'll be desperately trying to make this important next ride count as we see him lining something up on the outside now. Let's see what he can do. The 23-year-old draws off the bottom, up into this first section. A nice big swoop of his own, tight, critical in the bowl. Just a transition turn there. Is this wave going to give him that opportunity on the inside to deliver something dynamic? Well, he does well. It's a oh, tricky no. section, but he nose dives at the end there. He was on his way to a healthy number. And he still might get some decent points. That was a very committed first turn. Let's have another look at this first turn. It was beautifully placed. Oh, just a perfect canvas for, for Griffin just to grind through this beautiful open face carve. I love how he just set the rail again for the next turn. And uh, through here.
couple little cut downs and then this final turn here it looked like he was almost in two minds whether to just go for the extended floater but getting nice and low off the bottom here and just have a look at the calf just using all that extension in the body and uh, tucking that back leg in keeping the energy and the momentum the acceleration moving forward yeah, it's going to be hard to, to match those big numbers of John's because he got that completion. This end section didn't really serve much up for him. It was a pop as we go back to live action. And Griffin has broken combination. He had a 7.8 on that last ride. And now he's setting up for maybe a big air on the finish here. Loading up. The section stands up and he goes the full rotation and rides out. Woo! What an effort. Well, best error we've seen in the event, for sure. There hasn't been that many great opportunities. Oh, I think at this point, Rich, he's going, well, there wasn't much in that first turn. So he started telegraphing this thing. Yeah, you can see the stance wide and the front uh, foot just edges up the board and, geez, he covered some distance there. And we haven't seen many uh, surfers tackle this final section over the rock shelf. And uh, Griff gets the big rotor, completes it. Well, this is... You know, a really tricky wind and section. It's ideal for the air, but, you know, there is that danger of losing contact with your equipment. He just hung on beautifully. He's had some big individual moves in his career, and this is another spectacular move under pressure too. Well, the wave before, it started well and didn't finish well. This heat is coming down to the wire. He's still got work to do, though. Needs an 8.68, and here he goes now. Nice swoop off the top. Might get a bit more room to, to fit in a couple more turns on this ride. Driving up into the lip. Banks a section. It's a tricky one. He likes the feel of it. 8.68. Mm. Well, the comparison, it was always going to be what John John Florence did. But he is doing something that we haven't seen too much of. We saw Jack Robinson find a pit out there before in the round of 16. And John John manages to get some vision as well. He's trying to better an eight here, and he might go for an air of his own. The section, though, lets him down, but he does finish it off. It's the second highest heat, point, uh, heat score of the uh, the day so far, Griffin Colapinto's total there. And John's made a habit of this, you know, uh, upsetting people when they're putting together one of the heats of their lives. And there are the results, but just really solid start from the two-time world champion. And he is into the semis once again here at Margaret River.